I heard this story from him himself. There was a man, his name was Mendy, and he grew up when he was a teenager. He grew up by the Tasha Rebbe in Montreal, right? Canada. And he was a Hosbacher. He lived with the Rebbe. He took care of the Rebbe. And when he was about 15, him and his friend, we'll call his friend Laser, had enough. They took off their beard, their payas, they ran away, and they came to Manhattan. His friend Lazar's parents, they sat Shiva, they said Kaddish, they told him, you're dead to us, and they cut off ties, that was it. He told me, my parents though, they said, we love you, we miss you, this is your home, come back whenever you want, your bed is here. And he says, my father even used to send me money, he used to keep, I don't remember if it was, I think it was a hundred dollar bill in his pocket, he used to keep in his wallet that his father gave him. A few years later, he settled down, and he was at a business meeting in Manhattan. He looked outside the window of the cafe and he sees a homeless guy. He lost track of his friend for a few years, but he noticed this is his friend. He went running outside. He sees a homeless guy pushing this you know, cart with all of his belongings on there. He sees it's Laser. He's homeless. And a short while later, Laser killed himself. Because when you're dead to your parents, you can't, you can't survive. But he still had that chizuk from his parents. And um, he went on, and he ended up coming back to become from, and he ended up to build a family, and he ended up becoming very, very wealthy, and he ended up supporting millions and millions of dollars supporting Tyra and Chesed. And um, he told me that it was that connection, that even though he did something in those days 50 years ago, that was horrible, his parents didn't say, you're dead to us, but they kept on keeping a shaykhus with him, and that's what did it. There were 17 maestas that got a check, each one a million dollars a year, besides for all the other tzedakah. He was tremendous Baal Chesed, I'm sure you heard of him. He, he supported most of Cleveland's maestas, satire, kail, and everything. And uh, unfortunately, he died young. Nebuch, we lost him, Mendy Klein. He started Amudim, he founded it, he supported it. Tremendous Baal Chesed. And Klal Yisrael could have lost him. But what kept him going? Because his parents didn't say, you're dead to me. They had faith. Long term. You got to think long term.